Today I have for you five top manifesting habits of successful and powerful people. Before I learned about this stuff, I was pretty meek and mild and actually got pushed around quite a bit. Wasn't very successful. In fact, I was actually bullied a lot when I was in middle school. And learning about these habits has made a tremendous impact on the quality of my life. Today, because of these habits, I have a lot more success and a lot more power. More money in the bank. My business is doing really, really well. Even my YouTube channel is blowing up. And on a fundamental day-to-day -day level, people treat me with a tremendous amount of respect compared to the past. So I know from experience that these habits work in manifesting a very powerful and successful life and not just from me. Okay. So I've had the experience, but as these habits have made such a tremendous impact on my life, I've actually attracted a lot more powerful and successful people into my life as well. And let me tell you something. Every single one of these new people who are coming into my life have the same characteristics. So these are absolutely manifesting habits that you want to adopt if you want to cultivate power and success into your life. All right, so let's just go ahead and jump on in with number one. The first manifesting habit that you want to cultivate if you want to manifest power and success into your life is expressive language. Expressive language language. You know, have you ever been around somebody and you ask them something like, how's your day going? And they say, fine, good, not bad. <laughs> or whenever you ask them a question, you get like a one word response. And doesn't that person just seem so disempowered? Well, language has a huge impact on what you manifest and what you materialize into your life. You literally script your life through the words that you choose to speak. And so something that you will notice is that people who are very powerful and who have a lot of success in their lives, they frequently use very expressive, dramatic, and bold language. So I've got an example for you, and this is a person who's rather polarizing, so you either love him or you hate him, okay? <laughs> All right, but let's think about Donald Trump, okay? Now, Donald Trump, love him or hate him, you have got to agree that this is someone who has manifested a tremendous amount of power and a tremendous amount of success. And if you listen to him speak, he is always using big, bold language. This is gonna be an amazing new project. This building is gonna be the best building in New York City. This is gonna be the greatest country in the world. And when he talks, He'll use big dramatic words to show that he has high expectations. So if you aren't using big, bold language yet, I would highly recommend that you start adding some more colorful words into your vocabulary. So for instance, let's go back to the question, you know, how's your day going today? Are you having a good day? You know, how's your day? Instead of saying fine, it's a good day not bad. Try being more bold. It's been a phenomenal day. This has been an amazing day. I'm having one of the best days of my life. Try to use that kind of language when people ask you questions. Be bolder, be more dramatic, and tell it the way you wish it to be. If you wish it to be big, speak it big. So that's our first manifesting habit of successful and powerful people. And the next one that I have here is I honestly feel like one of my favorites. This is one that for me personally, I've seen such huge results with that I just wanna scream it <laughs> from the rooftops. And it's so easy to do, so easy to do. Anyone can do this. You don't need money. You don't even need confidence. You, you don't need anything to do this, okay? But this manifesting habit is about how you carry yourself, okay? And so powerful and successful people, they have what I would call a power power stance, a power stance, meaning that the way that they hold their body is very powerful. And so let's talk about what a power stance is. 
So a power stance is really about being open. Okay, it's about being open. It's about standing tall. A lot of it has to do though with being open. So one thing that you'll notice is that people who do not have a lot of power or a lot of success and they're feeling down on their luck or they're feeling fearful or they're feeling like things aren't going their way, the way that they will hold their bodies is that they will go inward. They will cower or they will withdraw. They will often cover the front of their body. So they may carry a bag in front of them or put a pillow in front of them if they're sitting on the couch. But there's this sense of guarding that goes on when somebody is not in a powerful and successful vibration. Now, by contrast, when you think of somebody who is successful and powerful, think about the stance that you see them in. A really great way to think of this is that when you think of somebody who just won a race or who just won an event. So you know, maybe you're watching somebody who's running track at the Olympics and they're going across the finish line and they're first. Well, what does that person do? You know, they throw their hands up in the air. They're like, look at me. And that's what they do. They open their body up. Okay. So that is the power stance. Now you don't need to run around like in the Olympics with your hands up all the time. But the idea is that you're opened up. Now, vibrationally, how you hold your body is super important because it conveys a message to the universe. Okay. And you get what you put out with the universe, whether you speak it or whether you use your body language. Okay. And so body language that is open says to the universe, I am open to receive. I belong here. You know, I am a big presence here. It speaks that to the universe. I am open to receiving. I am worthy of receiving. Whereas if you're more closed off and more guarded, you're saying to the universe, I'm closed. I'm blocked. Stay away from me. Leave me alone. Don't bring me anything. <laughs> okay. So you have to understand that is that you want to have that open body language so that the universe is going to give to you the things that you want because you're open to receiving them. So always remember that power stance. Okay. You want to stay open, stand tall, you know, hands on the hips is good. Arms by the side is fine. Just don't put your hands in your pockets. Don't cover yourself up. Stay open. All right. So that is the power stance habit. And now we have our next manifesting habit of successful and powerful people. This is another phenomenal habit to cultivate. This is one that I did the exact opposite of for years. And when I tweaked this, I saw a tremendous amount of change. Okay. And it has to do with speed, the speed that you are moving at. Most people would really highly benefit from slowing down, slowing down. And I mean, walking slower, <laughs> taking your time. Like even if you're writing something, taking your time, writing it, taking your time, speaking a little bit, but slowing down your pace. When you move very quickly, when you rush around, you convey low power to the universe. But when you slow down, you convey high power to the universe and can manifest a lot more power into your life. So I have an example here for kind of a visual representation of this. I want you to think about maybe a fortune 500 company. Okay. And so the person at the top with the most power and the most status, we're looking at the CEO. Okay. And perhaps more towards the bottom with some of the least amount of power and status at the moment might be an intern. Okay. Or somebody who's just there for a short period of time, but somebody very low on the totem pole. And I want you to think about what we think about when we think about those two positions. You know, if I think of somebody who's rushing around really, really quickly and moving around quick, I think of the intern who is rushing to get the coffee and rushing to get the mail and trying to fix all the little problems. Right. But if you think about the CEO, the person with the most power and the most status, we would not expect to see her or him or they, right? Rushing around. No, they are more likely, you know, staying in their seat, standing at the front of the room. They're not rushing around. They are taking their time. See, going slow 
is a habit that will manifest a lot more power and success into your life because it's a habit that again speaks a very strong message to the universe and you'll notice that with with each of these habits we're focusing on a message what we're saying because with the law of attraction we get what we put out okay so when you are taking your time What you are saying to the universe is, things are moving on my time schedule. I'm the one in charge. The seas are gonna part for me, okay? That's what you're saying vibrationally. When you're moving confidently, when you're moving slowly, when you're taking your time, I'm the one creating my reality. I'm the one who's in charge. And when that's the message that you put out, you are gonna manifest things that reinforce that message. So you'll manifest more power and success and status into your life if you slow down. When you find yourself rushing around, the message that you're putting out, unfortunately, is somebody else is in charge or I'm gonna get in trouble. Or, you know, this is somebody else is more important than me. Okay. So I got to rush around because this person's waiting for me or that person needs that. And so I do not carry the power in that moment. And so rushing around sends a message to the universe that in that moment, you do not feel successful and powerful. So I would urge you that, you know, even if you find yourself in a situation where you really feel like you need to rush, it would be highly advisable to just slow down. Now you may think, you know, hey, but Andrea, I'm going to miss the bus. (laughs) The plane's going to leave without me if I don't rush. But one thing that I have noticed is that every time that I have managed to get myself to slow down in a moment that I ordinarily would have rushed, something very interesting will happen, which is that the seas will part to allow me to have or get to whatever it is that that I need to get to. Okay, so let's say that I'm rushing for a meeting, okay, and I need to hurry up to get to the meeting. If I notice that I'm rushing and I say, okay, we got to slow back down and get back into our power. Very interestingly enough, when I get to the meeting, it's just now starting or I missed something I didn't really want to be there for anyway. (laughs) Or there was some reason why slowing down actually benefited me. So I would highly recommend if you aren't doing this yet, try to make this a new habit in your manifesting toolkit, which is to slow down. All right, and so at this point in the video, I'm gonna slow down (laughs) and ask you a question. And the question is, do you wanna manifest the life of your dreams? If the answer to that question is yes, please go ahead and make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. I create weekly videos that show you techniques and methods that really do work to manifest the life that you want. So please make sure to go ahead again and subscribe to my channel. And of course, go ahead and turn on the little handy notification bell. But at this point, let's move on to our next manifesting habit of successful and powerful people. And this is the one exception to the last one. So in the last one, we talked about slowing down, slowing down. But for this manifesting habit, there is one area you do want to be quick with. Okay, so there's one area you want to be quick with. Do you think you know what it is? Think about it. (laughs) All right, but what it is, what it is, is execution, execution. And so what I mean by that is when you're going to do something, just do it rather than procrastinate. Okay. So let's say that you get something in the mail. Okay. There's some kind of form that you need to fill out and send back. All right. What a lot of people will do is they'll take that piece of mail, they'll open it, they'll look at it and they'll say, "Eh, you know, I'll do it later, whatever. And they'll throw it in a pile or let it sit and let it wait. Okay. A much better habit for success and power is just to immediately take care of what you need to take care of. Okay. So fill it out right away, send it back or decide right then and there, I'm not doing this, rip it up and throw it away. Or immediately, you know what? This isn't for me, but I'm going to give this to somebody else to do for me. Get it out of your sight. Okay. Quick execution. Let's say that you get it in your head that you want to write a book. Okay. You want to write a book. Well, most people, when they get that idea, say, Oh, that's a nice idea. Someday, (laughs) someday I'll write that book. Well, instead of that, again, quick execution. So you don't have to sit down and write the whole book. Obviously that would be hard to do in one moment, but you could go ahead and sit down and say, you know, what are a few titles that I could come up with? Or maybe let me just go ahead and write the first paragraph. Do something, take some kind of action 
quickly. See, this is another manifesting habit of successful and powerful people that the general population does not have. And I've definitely seen a very big correlation as I've attracted more successful and powerful people into my life. They all have this characteristic. If they get an idea, they want to do it. They go ahead and buy that house. They start that business. They just go ahead and take action. Now, this is such a powerful manifesting habit because when you go slow or when you put things off, when you procrastinate, again, we would need to think about what message we're putting out into the universe. When we procrastinate, when we wait, when we put our dreams on hold, what we say to the universe is, I have doubts. I can't do this right now. I don't know if I can handle this right now. This seems like too much right now. And that's the message we put out there, okay? And so what ends up happening is that we start to reinforce the idea that we can't have things. We can't have these dreams that we wanna have because we start deferring them, okay? We put them off and we start to create a reality where we really do believe that these things are too big, they're too hard, they're too challenging, it's too much. But someone who chooses to take quick action, what they say to the universe is, I can handle this. I can do this. I can have anything that I want. Okay. Because they're not hesitating. They're not, they're not staying in that limbo of doubt and of fear. And it may be daunting. If you're not somebody who yet takes quick action, it may be very daunting to just go out there and start executing on all of your big dreams. Like Andrea, really, you want me to go write a book today and start my business right now? No, you don't have to do that. But what you can do is you can start to cultivate the habit of quick execution. And what will happen is that through the law of attraction, through momentum, you'll find yourself doing it more and more and more. Okay. So maybe you have some dreams that they, they feel kind of shaky. Like you're not used to taking quick action. That's fine. Okay. But when it comes to those things, like getting the form in the mail or getting some kind of task that you need to do shows up, do those things quickly. Okay, so maybe your kid brings you home some kind of form from soccer that you need to sign and get back to them. Instead of letting it sit in a pile and waiting until the last day, the kid says, hey, I have a form, go ahead and get it. Let's sign it now, get it off my desk, okay? Train yourself to be somebody who, when things come your way, challenges, even small or big challenges come your way, that you attack them quickly because the message that you're putting out to the universe is, I'm powerful and successful enough to do this now, okay? I don't need training wheels. I don't need to wait. I can handle it now, okay? So remember, when it comes to like your day-to-day actions, like walking, doing things, washing the dishes, whatever it is, take your time rather than rushing through, okay? Take your time. That's good. But remember, when it comes to tackling projects or challenges, take quick action. Now, I don't mean rush through them, right? You don't want to rush through them. You want to take your time when you're doing them. But when something is presented to you, do it now, okay? Now, for our next manifesting habit, this is another one that I definitely have seen a lot of as I've attracted more successful and powerful people into my life. So again, as my power and success has raised, I've magnetized into my world people that are in higher positions of power and success. So, you know, I have a friend who runs this really big nonprofit and I have a friend who is one of the top real estate agents in the county. And I have a friend who's like one of the youngest people in like leadership at Amazon. So I've attracted people into my life who have a lot more power and status. And when I look at my friends like these ones, I've noticed that every single one of them, they have this. So this is something you wanna do and it doesn't cost you any money, okay? (laughs) It's something you can do, all right? And so for this one, it is to think big. Think big. Powerful and successful people think big. All right. So like my friend who's in real estate, she also buys homes. Okay. And so a lot of people, if they want to buy a home or an extra property, they think about getting one property. Maybe I'll get, you know, one extra home or one rental property. Not her. 
She wants a whole fleet of properties. She wants properties all over the country. Okay, so she doesn't think small, she thinks big. Maybe you have some kind of a business, right? So maybe let's say that you run a dance studio, okay? Well, you could think small or normal, or you could think big. So a lot of times people will have kind of a local business and they wanna run you know, a decent local business, but they could think much bigger, you know? So how could I take what I do and teach the whole world these dance moves, okay? That's a way of thinking bigger. Maybe you've been wanting to, you know, increase your salary or increase the amount of money that comes in. A lot of people, when they think about improving their income, they think about getting a 10% raise. If I could just get a 10% raise, that'd be great. Well, why not a 200% raise? <laughs> why not a 500% raise, right? So try to train yourself to think bigger. You don't actually have to go out and make all these things happen, but at a minimum in your mind, don't settle for like just one step up. Think about the biggest, think about more. Just thinking about what you want is often enough to get it. And you know, if you haven't had that experience before, make sure that you've taken my manifesting test, okay? So if you haven't taken it yet, I do have a five minute law of attraction test where you can just put something out and watch it come back. And it is located at manifestingtest.com. Again, manifestingtest.com. I'll also go ahead and put a link below, but that's a really great test that you can take that can show you that just thinking about something is enough for it to materialize. And so we've been talking here about manifesting habits of successful and powerful people. So these are habits that you want to adopt. You may also be interested in learning about some of the habits that are low vibrational and that actually take you away from what you want. If you'd like to learn more about some of these habits to get rid of of, I'd really encourage you to go ahead and watch another video of mine. And that video is on three low vibe habits. Okay. Three low vibe habits to get rid of. So please make sure to go ahead and watch that video next. But thanks so much for watching today's video on these five top manifesting habits for successful and powerful people. And of course, I look forward to bringing you another video soon. Bye-bye.